Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day. Huh? Morning. It, there's country. no wind today. There's blue sky and there's the smell of bakery in the air. <laughs> Something we can't have right now. I can't have that right now because of our gluten free challenge. But it smells really mm, good. But I enjoy the smell. <laughs> So yesterday we had another life, really which we good. wanted to keep very short, but it went on for three hours and it was really good. We had so many good questions, very deep questions yesterday. Yeah, and it was we end up talking about nomadic lifestyle, which was really interesting. Isn't yeah, it? so two two topics that seem to stick out is this nomadic lifestyle and health, healthy eating healthy lifestyle maybe oh, so yeah we, we're kind of trying to figure out what's the what's the theme that's uh, most interesting and uh, how to talk about them in a interesting way mm -hmm. and yeah the both topics are something we are passionate about so it's uh, very very good in for, for different reasons I think mm -hmm. or maybe not different I don't know in a different way different because I am I am passionate about probably the digital nomad lifestyle we more and lots of uh, questions more directly yeah. about your profession and you have the healthy part mm -hmm. and That's for me the healthy part is like how I feel and, and how I lost my weight and how all that stuff mm -hmm. so for me it's more the practical side of things uh, I think you have more of the or like not more like you're more into yeah theoretical parts of it <laughs> That's kind Thank of you. getting boring for me, but the, the, the effects on me and the effects on our lives, I'm totally into that. Mm. So anyway, we're going now for a run and uh, we'll catch up after that. Woo! That was the morning run. It was good. I was running all the way. My legs are getting better. I mean, my calves, they're not hurting anymore. And yeah, today I have lots of uh, things that I was putting off for a while. I still do coding, but I have uh, new signups for the early access program, which I'm super excited about. And I think there is a problem with uh, my email sending out with my, you know, I send an email just to the early access members, which basically is not in public. And I think they don't receive that, so I will try to find out today we'll write them from a different email account because I'm building all that stuff myself because I don't want to share with other services and I think I learn a lot that way so yeah I want to do that today I'll share more about this craziness about building stuff myself and not sharing things with other services and my uh, craziness about privacy so I'll talk about this more but yeah that's what I want to do today and Lauza just arrived yes. how was your run you're done. Okay, so we're done. We're going back doing a new breakfast today. So if you're into our breakfast things, we're trying something new. So see you in our kitchen. Good morning. Michael mentioned that we're going today to do something new. So I, I created this recipe literally here on Madeira because that's what I found around. And because we are gluten free this month, I needed to get even more creative. So I'm doing like a flatbread, or I think I would call it in a little bit like crepes, but you will see, you let me know what you think. <laughs> and I'm doing this with buckwheat flour. The reason I'm choosing buckwheat flour is because it is high in fiber, iron, phosphorus, copper and zinc, which is naturally coming from that. And if you can see the ingredient list, it's just buckwheat flour, 100%. There's nothing else, no other additional ingredients in it. And that's what I really like about it. It's still carbs, uh, but at least this carb has some nutritional value. That's what's important. So yeah, I'm doing this. Um, where do I start? I'm gonna now blend this in, in the blend with a blend sticker. That's what we've got. <laughs> Here in Airbnb, we are lucky that we actually have some blender. Not all Airbnb has a blender. So I'm using only what we've got in the flat. All right, so I'm gonna have a 
250 milliliter of liquid i think it's one cup will be and i'm mixing half cup of water and half cup of um, oat milk which is also gluten free if you don't have that you actually can literally skip this you don't have to use this just water is enough but i'm just want to i want to add a little bit of flavor because oat milk has some sweetness natural sweetness in it that's why i just wanted to put this a little bit there and it has no sugar added in the Avena. Now I'm seeing the ingredients in Portuguese. That's so funny. Um, what's that? Avena, machete. Sugar? It? Not oh. sugar. Oat. Oat. <laughs> it is oat. My goodness. I forgot the word oat. Okay. All right. So and I'm going to. This is written in German. This is German. Ah, okay. So it's a hafer gluten frei oat gluten free. It's written here. It's, yeah, in English. That's true. And has no sugar in it, so I'm, I like this milk for teeth. That's my favorite one. So I'm gonna mix half cup of the this milk and half cup of the water. And oil. It's literally just one tablespoon of oil. You can use any oil you like. I'm using ghee because that's what I've got. You can use coconut oil, I think, and was that non-flavored oils, which are good because it, unless you like coconut flavor, that would be good. But I'm using um, this. This will help, obviously, to not stick the frying pan. but also has some nutritional value. Alrighty, so I'm gonna blend this first. So it's uh, nice and crispy. So it's how you like it. It's just how I like it. It's thin, and it's for me. It's like a flatbread because it's not like the the crab would be kind of softer, right? It's true. It's true. So, so if you break it, if you break it, there's still a bit uh, soft inside, but it's 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 crispy, and you can feel the crunch. And it has a really, I, I don't like the buckwheat flavor in general. We tried once to make a bread and I really didn't like it. I mean, we, we made a sourdough kind of version, mm -hmm. but this, this, uh, I can't feel the buckwheat. There's just like a, there is still a little there's a, a, I don't know, like a grainy taste, like a whole grain. Mm -hmm. And I can feel a bit the salt. So it's really, really good. So I have that with avocado. And I want to take a salmon today, like a, a smoked salmon. Which I love. It's one of my childhood memories. Ask me, someone asked me yesterday on this live stream, one of your childhood memories. And it was like going to primary school and we had a fish place in front of the school and I got a, a salmon sandwich salmon roll anyway love that so that's my creation for today with uh what's that buckwheat your creation uh, no not my creation yeah, lausa's buckwheat um flatbread with avocado and my salmon <laughs> let me also have a creation so that's your style of it's my style sorry not creation it's my style mm. So today we don't have a flaxseed, 
So, I think I'm okay, the will have a flag seed. I won't because I want to get to work as quick as possible now. So I'll just uh, use this beautiful Vlad Pretty thing, put my, uh, my almond butter on it, sprinkle over a couple of bananas, and I do a sandwich. So, yeah. So, oh my goodness, put the rest of the almond butter on ah, the other side. That's actually a good idea. You, you ne can have never enough almond butter. Mm. So that's an almond butter banana sandwich. How cool is that? Mm. Like a dessert? Mm-hmm. We always have dessert, right? Looks like. So like I, I said before when we were running, I got a couple of uh, new uh, signups for the early access, which is super exciting. So just to give a context, the, the app that I'm working on uh, for architects to create 3D uh, components for their design work um, I decided to do a closed group which is paid and as a bonus they get free credits for when it launches and this is my early access program so currently I'm working on the on the window and once that's released I will move to the door and to other families and this is where I got new signups so the, the thing that I recognized is or the thing that is part of this early access program is that I'm sending out emails with updates and I record screencasts to give previews and all of that goes via email to those early access members which is kind of like a, a small private group where I can reach out to and they're very happy to collaborate and so it's really helpful but I, I think there's an issue with my sending out emails because they don't get them or they land in the spam, in the spam folder I, I believe so I, I, I thought I built my own email delivery. I, I use a, a email delivery service, but I don't use any of these platforms to send to, to email lists like MailChimp or ConvertKit or anything of that. I, wanna, I wanted to build my own. So, and I wanted to do that for a couple of reasons because I, I don't like to share uh, data with uh, third-party services, which is one of my craziness about privacy and all that stuff. So I want to limit that as much as I can. The second one is I want to be able to to integrate email much deeper in the workflow, like with blog posts, with updates, with change log, with general information. And so that's the second one. And the third one is I just want to learn. I think. The, building those kind of things as part of my service uh, I try to keep them really simple so to do not take too much time but I learn a ton and that's very important for me so the, the first thing I want to do now is to reach out to a couple of early access members via normal personal emails so not via my email service which goes to all of them so I will write just personal emails to them to ask them uh, how they're doing, how they find uh, the updates, if they get them, to just get a little bit of personal feedback. And then I will reach out to these uh, latest signups because they haven't received the, the latest screencasts, which is something that I still need to automate, that, that's always the latest ones. And yeah, then I have a couple of support emails to do for my existing products. And yeah, and then I guess I get back to uh, writing my remaining tests to finish this last big module, which is uh, taking already too long. So I hope I get to that today. So yeah, that's my day. So let's get started. Today, unfortunately, I don't have time to cook lunch. A lot of sitting editing as well, and Michael also busy. 
So we decided to take takeaway from our local restaurant here. And yeah, here we go. They have plenty of different foods and I will go I'll, I'll show you what they have here, but we will still keep it healthy. We thought we will order espitada and some salads as well. <laughs> I'm going to disinfect. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah, so good. So by the way, here's the menus. English, French, Portuguese, Spanish, and they even have German as well. So I'm going to do the English. So let me show you what they've got here. Starters, soups, salads, pastas, pizzas, omelets charcoal grilled meats, grilled fish. So I'm gonna go with uh, a espetada or two espetadas. Where's the espetada here? Oh, here's a grill. You can see that. Espetada. Mixed fish, grilled sardines, tuna, pork, chicken, beef in skewers, 39. It's espetada. So then, two espetadas, please. With? Salad, takeaway as well, and a sweet potato, small portion. I don't know if I have, let me ask. Sure. Yes. One small portion, like a medium. Of sweet potato? Sweet potato. Yes, please. Yes. And, and salad. Salad. salad is normal, the large one, right? Yes. And can you do the marinade as well? Like olive oil? Yes, and yes. Yeah, that's super. Yeah, thank you. By the way, they give also complimentary drinks. In the end of the, when you eat here, it's uh, maracuya liquor and banana liquor. I I like my banana liquor actually. It's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go and uh, wait for my takeaway. Well, like this. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.